I am Börkur Arnarsson. Uh, I'm the owner and director of I8 Gallery. So the gallery was started uh, in 95. It was started by my mother and I. Uh, she was an artist who, who was getting way more interested in, in other people's work than her own. Uh, and uh, from from an er from early on, we we were we were working with both artists that were based here and elsewhere. Today, we we still work with a good number of the people that we worked with right from the beginning, from those early days. We were showing Olafur in '97. We were showing Ronnie Horn in in in, in I think '98. Christian Goodmanson and Sigurd Goodmanson and Fred Friðfinnsson often uh, referred to as the Zoom generation of those post-fluxus artists. And um, it was kind of lonely at the time. We were, there weren't many galleries. We started um, in a very, very tiny little space. And then in about 2000, we moved to a slightly bigger space. We were already doing art fairs and um, kind of figuring out how to, as we went along, figuring out what we were doing and how we were doing things. But, but 10 years ago, we moved to um, our current space here in the harbor site in Reykjavik. And the program has evolved. It, necessarily, it hasn't changed necessarily that much, but it has definitely evolved. And our involvement and, and work with the artists has, has extended. Um, we do a lot of work outside of Iceland, both in, in Europe and in the States. Um, there's a lot of art fairs that we used to before pandemic, we used to do. Uh, God knows what's going to happen post this era. Recently, we, we hired a new director who works for us from New York in a new kind of setup of how things are communicated and not everyone traveling everywhere. We, we, we are we're communicating differently with our clients, with our collectors, with, with, with institutional people that, that we don't necessarily see personally in the same regular way as we used to. Uh, it's very different how, how uh, galleries with a physical space have to do things now. Uh, but we still believe that even though we're not seeing all the people that we used to see, we, we still feel the importance and the need to, to work with the work uh, the same way. We install shows, we, we present the work in, in, in a physical manner, although it then has to be presented again in some way uh, digitally. But these things might you know, hopefully move and, and, and move forward into, a, into, a, into an era, into a space that, that functions for, for seeing works physically. I think the future of a gallery is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a tricky subject. It's, a, it's, it's, it's not unlikely that it could go the same way that that uh, other art forms are delivered. Uh, music and literature are certainly have changed immensely in the last 10 years. Uh, and it's not unlikely that art, visual arts, in some way could go the same way. So the, 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 the way that the, the works themselves go from their creation to, to someone that owns them and holds them and appreciates them, this could change. Um, but it's still the role of a gallery to, to work with artists uh, in, in both in dialogue and, 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 uh, and practically. And then also to work with he who is on the other end, uh, the people that appreciate the work and end up buying them and owning them and showing them. So we are still, whatever the form will be, we're still in a position to, to be supportive and, and editorial and, and, and curatorial and, 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 and in a position of, 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 of uh, 
bridging those two, I guess, is the word. Working in Reykjavik is, 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 is fantastic. It's always, we've always said it's our, um, the pros and the cons come together there. We, you know, it's, it's bloody hard to, to, to run a gallery in the, in, uh, on, the, on, on a rock in the middle of the North Atlantic. But it's also a, a huge advantage because it's, uh, it's an odd place to, to, to have a program and run an international gallery. Uh, people are curious about the place, the space. Artists have been coming here for decades and they're, um, they're inspired by, by the variety of things here. I mean, um, but it's also a, a sort of a critic-less society and so much creativity comes out of that. It drives you crazy in one, on one side, but it also is like, there are so many things that are spun from, 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 you can see the art school, everyone that comes out of art school is, is not just a sculptor, they're always a musician as well, or a poet. Um, and everyone seems to be able to do everything. And people are really, it really is a, um, uh, an allowing landscape for, for creative, creative people. I think everyone that wants to show, can show, everyone that has a book, they get published. So there is definitely a vitality that has, is in no way proportional to the size of the place. And it's fun to work in that environment. Um, however, we, 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 we could not function or thrive in such a tiny place. So it's also super important for us to be everywhere else at the same time. And that's also, that's one of the reasons why we, why we now hired a, a director in New York who works with us from there um, in, in this sort of changing landscape of communications. It's equally important for, for an art scene that is thriving. Um, and, and here it certainly is in all the different forms of art. It's, 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 it's very important that, that that gets to see and feel things from elsewhere. So we're, we're very um, aware of and, 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 and we feel that we play a role in, in, in the importance of bringing things here that um, from elsewhere. And this is equally important as for the culture from here to, to go elsewhere, to travel. Uh, it's, in, it's, in, it's not just for the, for the consumer of the art, a horrible term, but it's, 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 as, equal, uh, it's as important for the, for the artists themselves. And that's, I think, how and why such a strangely um, thriving creative energy in this, is in this tiny place, because it is, there is always this uh, coming and going, uh, and people here are always coming and going. I mean, with, with, with the whole way we now communicate, and it, 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 it kind of doesn't matter where a gallery is located, but it also does matter because it doesn't constitute a gallery if, if it's just an online platform. Uh, and I think that for us, we have to ob obviously be, be visible and, and, and um, participate in everything that's going on online, which we certainly are, but it's also, uh, it's, it's a completely different work if that's what we do and we don't um, show the work and work with the work. And for us, it's, hu it's so important to, I don't think we could be here with a gallery unless at least a third of the artists were here with their studios. It's a very important fact for a, a gallery to be able to be in, in, a, in a proper, um, dialogue with the artists that they work with. My name is Ingeberg Jónsdóttir and I'm the founder and director of uh, Berg Contemporary in Reykjavík. There were numerous reasons I decided to open uh, my gallery. I had been an artist, uh, art teacher, curator and collector and I wanted to give it a go and uh, open an exhibition hall and a gallery and utilize these different uh, experiences. I also thought uh, Iceland could use another uh, or more galleries that were working in the international sphere. I love teaching art 
I found the conversation with my students uh, rewarding and the uh, opportunity for growth on both sides of the table. Of course, the artists at the gallery are much more experienced, but the teaching was certainly a good uh, preparation. I don't think I was a controlling uh, teacher. I always saw my role as a guiding one, and that's the same with the collaboration with my artist. I listen and try to find a path for them, but I never, and, but I always um, try to remember to give them space so they can control their own journey. It took me many years to prepare for the opening of Berg Contemporary. I looked everywhere in the downtown area. I wanted high ceilings and uh, white spaces. And one day the miracle happened. Uh, I was also very keen on uh, building my own um, uh, exhibition hall. Klapastio 16, uh, an old uh, glass factory, became able and with it a perfect ground for further building. We do have their uh, excellent uh, exhibition hall, uh, office area and uh, space for storage where we keep uh, excellent uh, collection of work of our artists and others that we have been uh, exhibiting through the years. I decided to go for it and I opened uh, Berg Contemporary in March 2016. We're currently uh, building a new exhibition hall. Uh, the new hall will have a totally uh, different ambience to the pre-existing one and it will be an addition. Uh, the new hall is uh, meant for a large scale work, uh, installations and videos, and pieces that need uh, extremely high ceilings. We are also uh, adding um, apartments that will work as a residence for artists and curators and others that we like to work with. I also believe that uh, this new hall will become an excellent addition to Reykjavik um, art scenery. Even though uh, most of our artists are Icelandic, uh, we do have uh, artists from all over the world, quite international roster. Uh, we have uh, one from America uh, that lives and works in Berkeley, John Surier, and uh, the Vasulkas, uh, pioneering video artist, uh, have lived most of their life in, in the States, it's in New York, uh, Buffalo, and Santa Fe. Our artists uh, work within various media, painting, sculpture, uh, photography, etc. And many of uh, Berg's uh, artists are video artists, such as uh, the Vasulkas, um, Dottamaki, and Sigurd Guðjónsson, who will represent uh, Iceland at the next uh, Venice Biennale. Many of our artists have participated in exhibitions in the States. Uh, for example, Finnbogi Peterson have recently had a solo exhibition in the Western Galleries um, in Washington State. Galleries have a multi-layered uh, roles. Uh, we participate in art fairs uh, worldwide year-round and uh, by doing so we promote the gallery and the artists it represents. Um, along with the Venice Biennale, uh, art fairs have become the most vital force to, um, to promote uh, Icelandic art to the world. Yeah, we do that, um, uh, mostly in Europe, but uh, we have uh, been participating in um, Armory in New York and uh, uh, Untitled in Miami Beach. And um, uh, this year we were supposed to participate in, in FIAC in Paris, as we did last year, and, uh, and uh, Freeze London. And uh, we have been through the years um, taking part in a video festival in Barcelona, Loop. We have done so for many years, as we have many video artists. Of course, it's very important for us to participate uh, in art fairs abroad and uh, for our artists to participate in exhibitions uh, in other countries. We also look very forward to the new uh, extension and um, the apartments that give us um, possibility of um, inviting people that uh, we like to exhibit in our uh, exhibition hall and conversation with curators and others that uh, we think is important and vital for our artists. My name is Daria Andrews. I work as the associate director at Kvaros Gallery, where Sigríður Gunnarsdóttir is the director and owner. 
Um, Cottage Gallery is a gallery based in Reykjavik, contemporary arts gallery. We represent 13 artists, a blend of um, young and up-and-coming artists, as well as artists who are more mid-range established in their careers. We also represent a, um, a mix of artists that are based in, based in from Reykjavik, Iceland, um, and also internationally in Europe, mm, more specifically in Brussels. But we also represent artists who are also represented internationally at galleries in, in Europe and in New York, for example. Sigridur works with a range of, of artists, um, from painters, sculptors, photographers, um, artists working in mixed media. And in recent years, Sika has been putting a bit more focus on artists that are young and up and coming in Iceland's art scene um, and has found kind of a great creativity and exciting things happening in, in the, the work of those artists. I would say the um, Icelandic art scene is quite an interesting one to work with. Um, you know, we are a, a quite small country and thus a, a quite small and kind of tight-knit um, art scene. Um, and that, of course, presents artists and galleries with positives and negatives that are quite unique to our situation. Um, but I would say, in general, there is really a kind of booming creative energy here in Iceland, um, whether it's in um, film or, or theater or um, um, publications, and not not the least within the visual arts, um, which is something that uh, we at Credo Scalari cer certainly take advantage of and and want to highlight by presenting um, these artists abroad to an international audience. So Cuadros Carladi was founded in 2013 and Sigrid uh, took over as the director and the owner in, in 2016 and um, she still works with many of the most of the artists who were originally represented like I um, mentioned before 13 artists and um, continues to um, exhibit those artists um, here in Iceland, but also abroad at um, art fairs in Scandinavia, as well as occasionally in America. Sika is also based part-time in Brussels, at, in Brussels and works, um, uh, works occasionally in Brussels and in between from Iceland and Brussels. And that um, is also quite essential kind of to our business practices in terms of um, connecting to an international audience and keeping a client base internationally. At least in terms of kind of art fair wise, we do have a more Scandinavian focus in terms of the Scandinavian market. Um, so we typically travel to Chart in Copenhagen, to Market in Stockholm, and also occasionally Art Brussels in, in Brussels. Um, in 2016, we also uh, participated in Volta in New York, which was a great experience for us, and we exhibited um, Shoplifter, or Shoplifter Arnadottir. Um, but primarily, I would say the Scandinavian market um, has proved kind of most efficient and most um, successful for us um, in terms of our uh, economics and sales. I think um, in terms of the future of Kadvis Gallery, um, I know that SICA wants to kind of expand our presence internationally, of course, um, perhaps reaching more widely uh, an American market, though that is um, quite strongly in our client base um, currently as well. Um, I think also kind of in the climate of today, we are starting to notice um, the importance of a evolved online presence in terms of working with Artsy or other social media platforms, online platforms, that that really does have kind of a, a marketed effect in our, our sales and the growth of our um, of our artists and um, etc.
Sika and I at Credit Gallery are um, so excited for the future, for the future for our artists, um, continued participation in exhibitions and art fairs abroad and bringing our international and local artists um, just to a wider audience across the world.